Hi everybody, Dr. Bill Crawford here. I'm a psychologist, speaker, author of four books, host of two PBS specials. And I'm here on beautiful Catalina Island doing a leadership retreat and I thought I'd take this opportunity to film this week's video. I'm going to use a quote that I've used before because I think it, I can add something to it and I think it really can make a difference in our lives. The quote says, it's not what we feel but what we feed that determines our experience of life. And I think that's important because I think a lot of us find ourselves feeling different emotions. We get angry, we get frustrated, we get stressed, we get depressed, we get uh, annoyed, we feel overwhelmed. Very understandable feelings. But yet what I think happens is when we feel those feelings, we feed them. We start looking around for the cause of them. And we in some ways make them worse because we validate them. What I think we really need to understand is what's going on here. See, what's really going on here is that a part of our brain, this middle part of the brain, the limbic system, is actually interpreting the situation in such a way that triggers these emotions. But we're not looking at that interpretation. We're just looking at the situation and the emotion. What if we didn't? What if we looked at the situation and said, OK, I'm finding myself feeling this. Is this really what I want to feel? Is this making the statement I want to make about who I am? Would I teach or recommend this feeling to someone I love? If everybody were in this situation, would everybody feel this? You know, traffic is a wonderful example. So many people get stressed and frustrated in traffic. But there are people who don't get stressed and frustrated in traffic, which means it's really not traffic that's making us feel a certain way. It's traffic that's triggering the feeling, and then we feed it. And feeding it has to do with not only thinking about it and running it over in our minds and justifying it, but actually triggering certain chemicals that feed it. You see, when we go into this lower 20% of the brain, we're triggering this adrenaline, noradrenaline, cortisol, the fight or flight chemicals. And those put us in that tense, frustrated, angry pers perspective. What I think we want to do is actually have that interpretation send this data up to the upper 80% of the brain, trigger endorphins and serotonin and dopamine, things that help us think clearer and feel better. In order to do that, we've got to make sure we're clear about what we are feeding. Are we feeding it on purpose? Is it working for us? Is it defining who we are? I'm a person who, when I feel this, I feed it. And most importantly, would I recommend feeding this feeling to someone I love? Would I recommend it? Would I teach it to my kids, my, my, my children, my, my loved ones? I think when we get that, we get, no, we really wouldn't. So now we want to get a clear sense of, okay, what would we feed? If we were choosing how we want to interpret this particular situation, traffic, difficult person, a setback, you know, it doesn't have to be just a, a small thing. It can be a big thing. How do we want to see it? What's our expectation? How do we want to kind of bring our best to making a difference in the future? That's what we want to feed. We want to not, not make it up, you know, clearly this is about reality here, but we have been kind of uh, successful in challenging situations in the past. So again, how do we want to feed this? How do we want to feel about this? Who do we want to be in response to this situation? If you ever get a chance to come to Catalina Island, I hope you get a chance to stay and enjoy it. It is a beautiful place. I thought I'd take this opportunity, here doing a leadership retreat, take this opportunity to film this week's video, give you a little taste of the island. And of course, if you'd like me to come and do any kind of presentation for you and your organization, all you gotta do is go to my website, Bill Crawford, phd.com, hit the contact button, let me know what you're interested in, and I would be happy to talk with you about that. In the meantime, here's to you bringing more clarity, confidence, creativity to everything you do. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.